Do you feel, do you honestly deem yourself to be a part of the body and to be responsible? You know, my brothers, my time is short. You know what? Let's drop the issue about what's happening around the world. Let's talk about what you and I do. Because what you and I do has a direct effect towards this ummah. Every sin you commit has a direct effect on every single person that has tawheed and iman in his heart. You know the sister that's getting raped in Syria. What you do here in this town has a direct effect on her. Because I have news for you. That day that you decided to be a Muslim, the day that you decided to say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, you entered the fold of Islam. And when you entered the fold of Islam, you fell under the umbrella of the ummah. And when you became a member of the ummah, you became a part of the body. So what you do has an effect on the ummah. Brothers are walking around today telling me, listen, and please excuse me, I know we're sitting in the masjid, but I'm not here to give you Disney stories. We're either here to speak the hat, honestly, or let's just shut shop and go home, and let's just all sit down and watch TV. Today you walk around, and every single one of us has this disease. Every one of us has this disease. That, yeah, look, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm not the best Muslim, and yeah, maybe my Quran has shortcomings, and yeah, maybe my salah is not this, that, and the other, but it's alright. No, it's not alright, akhi. People think that, listen, you know what, if I don't want to pray, that's none of your business. It's between me and Allah. Have you ever heard this? That no one can judge me, only God can judge me. Wow, big round of applause for this brother, eh? Only God can judge me. Well, duh, yes, only God can judge you. But unfortunately, brother, I have news for you. Your shortcomings has an effect on me, has an effect on my wife, has an effect on my children, and has an effect on the rest of the ummah. So it's not up to me to allow you to do your wrong and to do your haram and not stand before you, right? And give you clear warning that what you're doing is wrong and batil. The Prophet of Allah in the Sahih Hadith, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِي The Prophet of Allah takes an oath by Allah. He says, you either enjoin that which is good and you forbid that which is wrong. This is a responsibility upon everyone. This is not the responsibility of Muhammad Hablas. It's not the responsibility of the mashayikh. It's not the responsibility of the ulama. It's the responsibility of every person that has iman and tawheed in his heart to call to that which is good and forbid that which is wrong. Why, O Prophet of Allah? What if I don't want to do it? What if it's none of my business? What if I want to do my own thing? He says, you will do it. Or oh, by Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will send down His punishment upon you. You will raise your hands and make dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not accept your prayers. Allah will not accept your prayers. My brothers and sisters, please, don't you see what's happening around you? Don't you understand that death is around the corner for every single one of you? Every one of you, did you know this? Did you know death stares you in the face every single day?